everyone. This is Abigail Arma Concha, first year nursing student from Davao Doctors College. Today, I am going to perform a return demonstration for complete bed bath. Complete bed bath are performed to physically wash or clean the dirt and microorganisms from the skin of critically ill patients or reducing infection risk. Now prepare the necessary equipment. First, we have washed basin. Next, we have liquid soap. Next, we have washed cloth. We have bath jacket and bath towels. A moisturizing lotion. Deodorant. Eye drops. A working gloves. Eye patch. And also hair comb. Also perform hand washing to prevent from spreading the microorganisms. You can also use alcohol. Before I start with the assessment, knock on the door, greet the patient politely, introduce yourself, and verify the patient's name, age, and birth date. Ask how the patient would like to be called during the assessment. Explain the procedure to the client and how he or she can participate during the assessment. Provide the patient an opportunity to clarify, ask, or raise any concerns. Ensure, ensure the patient's comfort, privacy, and confidentiality. Hello ma'am, I am Abigail Magoncha, your student nurse from Davao Doctors College. For verifications, may I see your wristband? Please state your name. Haley K. What about your age? 13. When is your birthday? August 2008. Okay, so how would you like me to call you during the assessment? Haley. Okay, Haley, today I'll be doing a bed bath. This is to prevent an infection or bacteria in your body. This is also the good time to check if you have any swelling or sores or rashes in your skin. This will also give you a fresh feeling. Is that okay with you? Okay, so by the way, I already closed the door and the curtain so that no one can see us. Is that okay with you? Okay, so is the room temperature okay with you? Do you want the room to be cold or just warm? Warm. Okay, so Haley, um, if you have any clarifications, just inform me. Tell me if you want to raise any concerns, okay? Okay, okay so let's start. The now raise the bed in a comfortable working height and lower down the side rails where I am standing. Now assist the patient to move closer towards me. Okay, Haley, I want you to move closer towards me. Now put a bath blanket over the patient. Please hold this for me. Now remove the top sheet that is below the bath blanket. So now I am going to remove. this for me now put the linens in the laundry hamper now remove the patient's towel if the patient has injuries or reduces mobility at one side then I shall start at the unaffected side okay so Haley I am going to remove your towel Now put this in the laundry hamper. After removing the patient's gown, we have warm water, two-thirds full. It is about 43 to 46 degrees Celsius. Let the patient check the temperature if it is tolerable to them. Okay, Haley, I want you to check if the temperature is okay. Okay. Is it okay with you? Yes. Now remove the pillow and place the bath towel under the patient's head and over her chest. Okay, so I am going to remove the pillow, Haley. Okay. 
Pokoknya mungkin cukup di sini saja. Now ask the patient if he or she wears contact lenses. Haley, do you wear contact lenses? Okay, so I'll start with washing your eyes. Now dip the cloth in the water and fold it to create bath mitten. Start from the inner campus to the outer campus. Now let's proceed to wash your forehead, cheeks, nose, ears, and neck. Also, ask the patient if he or she wants to put liquid soap. Haley, do you want me to put liquid soap? Mm. Okay. Starting from the forehead, cheeks, nose, ears, and neck. So I'm going to start with the forehead. Cheeks. Nose. Ears. And neck. If the patient is unconscious, wash the eye with warm water only. Starting from the inner campus to the outer campus using a separate section of the cloth for each eye. Now use eye drops if it's prescribed. If the patient has no blinking reflex, leave the eyelids closed and place an eye patch gently. Now let's proceed washing the arms and hands. Place a towel beneath the patient's arms. Okay, so maybe I'm going to place a bath towel on your arms. Using fear strokes, start from the wrist to shoulder including the axillary area. Now raise the patient's arms and support the patient's wrist and elbow. Okay. Haley, I want you to raise your arms. Now apply deodorant for the patients with respiratory alterations. Now wash and clean the other side of the arm. Now let's proceed to the chest. Place a bath towel over her chest while I lower down the bath blanket just above the umbilicus. Using a bath mitt, start cleaning the patient's chest. Special attention to the skin fold because these areas are very prone to sweating or perspirations, and as well as known as the bacteria. If the patient is female, special attention to the skin beneath the patient's breast. So now, let's proceed to the abdomen. Place a back blanket downward to her cubic region.
start washing the patient's abdomen. Also, pay attention to the umbilicus and surrounding skin fold. Now let's proceed to the legs. In order for me to wash her legs, first thing to do is to expose her legs by folding the back blanket to the midline and then place a back towel beneath her legs. Using a long firm strokes, I'm going to start from the legs, starting to the ankles, to the knee, and from the knee to check for any skin redness, swelling, bruises, or pain. Also, special attention to the toes and toenails. Now do the other side of the legs. Now soaking the patient's feet in warm water for 10 minutes will help maintain cleanliness in feet and toenails. But we should remember that to not soak their feet if the patient is diabetic. This might actually cause harm or injury. Okay, so now since I'm done with the face, arms, chest, and legs, I already refilled the water and changed my gloves. So now I am going to turn my patient into a prone Position. We, I want you to face at the side and at the side. Place a bath towel at the side of his back. Start cleaning the patient's back. Paying special attention to the patient's skin fold. patient if he or she wants to have a massage. Haley, do you want me to massage your back? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if not, put a moisturizing lotion at the back. To move toward me. The door. Okay. Now put the patient's gown. the patient's hair. Okay, ma'am, how are you feeling right now? Fresh. Mm, mm, that's good. Okay, now, after doing the bed bath, make sure to throw the gloves. Perform hand... Okay, so I'm done with the bed bath. Before I am going to go out, but have a good sleep, okay? And have a good rest, okay? Okay. So now, Make sure to fix and clean the table for the cleanliness.